Okay, students. Today, let us take chapter from economics. The name of our chapter is money and credit. Money. What is money? A person holding a money can easily be exchange it for any commodities or service that he or she might want. Everyone prefers to receive payments in money and then exchange the money for things that they want. So money helps us to exchange any things. Before that, the system which was used in the world was barter system here in barter systems means the exchange of goods to each other this barter system is also called double coincidence of wants let us take example like here is a person who is making shoes. Now this person want wheat. Now this person has to find out a farmer who need shoes. and then he can give his shoes to that farmer and receive shoes from him this is called the barter system money as a medium of exchange since money acts as an intermediate in the exchange process it is called the medium of exchange medium of exchange is an important function of money it means that money act as an intermediary for goods and services both use of money as a medium of exchange has removed the major difficulties of double coincident of wants the first thing that it removes the difficulties of double coincidence of wants and the medium of exchange functions of money has classified all transactions on the basis of time and place now the seller of goods need not to sell his goods at a particular time and place and buy goods of the same value as well the medium of exchange functions of money implies that money is generally acceptable by the people. They can buy goods and services they need using money. That is money facilities multilateral trade. It means money helps helps us in the multilateral trade. This is how see this is how we see the money as a medium of exchange. Now let us come to the next part and that is the role of money in our economy. We cannot imagine life without money money plays an important role in the economy of a country the use of money is at every step of life in fact it would be hard for us to imagine that without our life our life without our money barter system 
as many problems without exchange of goods and service nobody can fulfill all his needs and requirement this create a problem in barter system world or we can say population becomes larger and larger the problem problems begins to emerge more and more with the barter system the next point is highly specialized of forms of business of regions of types of capital etc now these specializations allow the utilization of each person at the best of his or her ability and skill each region out to maximum advantages and the use of large amount of specialized capital to reap economic of skills the fruit of this high standard of living and productivity all this specialization will not be possible without an equal highly developed system of exchange and trade that is the use of money money serves the economy of the country performing the following four, four most important functions these functions are the first one is a unit of value it is a unit which shows the value of money it plays a role of medium of exchange and next is the store of values that's all for today now in the next part of this chapter we will do the modern forms of money and then see the role of banks and then we come to the second part that is the credit so what is credit the role of credit and then comes the role of reserve bank of india that's all of today thank you